picture in the bag. When are you leaving? Right away. I'm making my 10th anniversary broadcast from the ranch. Roy, you can be mighty proud of your 10 years in pictures. You've made millions of friends all over the world. Hey, Roy, sing Dust, that song you sang in your first picture. You know, we haven't heard that in a long time. <laughs> okay, Joe, I'll remember. <laughs> well, good luck and have a nice trip. We'll all be listening to your broadcast, Roy. Thanks, Paul. You bet. Take her easy, boys. We'll see you. So long, Roy. So long, Roy. Pay homage to the king who's come to greet us. Here, here! Right, oh. I'm all a twitter and a flutter. My little knees are just like butter. To think the mighty king would stoop to meet us. Huh? Let's hail the conquering hero, for it's time he did appear. And with reverence, we proudly say, Long live the king. He's here, he's rootin' tootin' Rogers, the king of the cowboys, the bravest man upon the silver screen. Whenever there is trouble, there comes trigger on the devil, to lick the villain and to steal the scene. He's got a way with women, too, how they cuddle up to him when the director tells them to. He's rootin' tootin' Rogers, the king of the cowboys, the bravest, brightness, and the fightness, strongest, roughest, and the toughest. Let me mention he's a singing his too. But is he the same old Roy that we once knew? Hi, fellas. Hello, Hello Roy. Roy. Hi, Roy. <laughs> Some of you boys take Trigger out of the trailer. Put the car in the garage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, you might as well saddle him up. We'd like to kind of stretch our legs a little bit. All right. All right. Oh. Shh. Now, go on, go on, go on, go on. Get away. I'll, you can meet Roy Rogers later. Go on, now. Who was it, Cookie? Huh? Oh, no, no, nobody. Roy, nobody. No, no, no. Well, we sure have missed you around here, too, Roy. You just never know how we... Oh. Uh, Roy, that's just some extra help that I hired so cheap I couldn't afford not to, really. Well, they're certainly well fed. <laughs> yeah, they're great big... Oh. Hello, Mr. Rogers. Cookie promised to introduce us after we took our naps. Didn't you, Cousin Cookie? Cousin Cookie, huh? I guess I can't deny him, Roy. It 
runs in the family. That's Alf and Luke and Grover Bullfincher. Cookie, if you don't quit hiring your relatives... Well, Roy, after their mama died and Luke... We'll never be able to feed your... I know. By the way, Cookie, did you ever hire that horse trainer I asked you about? Huh? Oh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, Roy, now that's something else I wanted to talk to you about. It was... Well, look at that. There's old Bob. <laughs> Hey, that bus that's been rounding up range horses is over in the north pasture. Oh, who is it, Cookie? Oh, some strangers butchering up them range horses for meat and hides. That's what happened to the buffaloes. Yeah, but this is legal and it's hurting our army contract. It isn't legal if it's on our range. We'll better get over and see if there's no double our horses in that bunch. Thanks, cousin. wild horses if it's any of your business. Get up. Well, well, I might have known. Roy Rogers, the movie cowboy. Yeah, get up. Pretty brave with all your friends backing you up. Hold it. Stay on your horses. I'll see that this is on the up and up. up the drawer you sent me. All right, all right, but be quiet. That dog barks, I'll... He won't, Marge. I promise he won't. enough, Roy. Come on, get up. All right, clear out of here. Anybody can catch wild horses on open range. Not the way you're doing it. Go on, now, get on. I got some work to do. Take it easy, fella. You're not hurt so bad. 
Come on now, on your feet. And lead the rest of your pals back out on the range. Come on, fella. took a licking. That's Roy Rogers and Trigger. I read in the movie magazine that Roy would sell him for a million dollars. Yeah, I know that. Get on your horse. Yeah, Trigger. Gotta have a little talk with Pop. Boy busting the bronc and I can't find a darn thing. Well, Pop, we lost the herd. Rogers and his gang from the Double R Ranch jumped us. Yeah, and he gave you a nice lesson in the manly art of self-defense, too. Where were you? Just watching. Oh, you were a sucker for those lefts. Yes, sir, we could use that money to... Yeah, yeah, now, fellas. Hey, you're getting awful touchy. Well, I'm sore. Where were you when I was taking that beating? Yeah. If we lose that herd, the hide contract is gone, and so is the money. Oh, take it easy. We're going to do something about it. But what about the horses? We'd better round them up before Rogers gets everybody thinking his way, and they run us out. Range horses? Well, that's just chicken feed. What I'm thinking about now is one horse. Yeah, but Rogers. Yeah, Roy Rogers. And the smartest horse in pictures. Say. Get that flea bitten Australian coyote out of here. Tramp, come here. Haven't I told you not to come in here when we're busy? I know, but it's way past lunchtime and I'm hungry. Here, get yourself something to eat. Thanks. Come on, Tramp. Here, come back here with that. That dog steals everything around here. I can't even find my no-sale stamp anymore. Let me handle this. Told you before, take him out and get rid of him before I do it for you. But I'll break him up stealing, Lige. He'll learn. So take him out and get rid of him. Sure, Lige. Sure. Between that dog and that stepson of yours, my patience is wearing out. Now, don't worry about him. I'm shipping him off pronto. I hope he didn't hear that crack about Trigger. Well, Junior, you look nice enough to go to church. You're growing out of all your clothes. <laughs> got married right after the First World War, and they had seven kids, and... Cousin Cookie, I'm sorry. Yeah. It was another mouse. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, Carolyn, meet your boss, Roy Rogers. Yeah. Roy Rogers? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Not again. Wake up. 
but it's the first time she ever seen a movie star. I can sure tell she's your relation. She weighs a ton. Oh, she ain't so big. How old did you say she was? Well, now, let's see. When I left... Oh, oh, oh. No, she, I don't rightly remember, Roy. Well, you know how we tell the ages of horses, don't you? You mean look at her teeth? Right. No! Oh. I can't imagine her being afraid of a mouse. Why a bullfincher ain't afraid of anything on four legs? <laughs> it is! It is! Whoa! It is! It's a mouse! smoking and dreaming about his Mary. The coyote started howling with his nose pointing to the moon. For a while the cowboy listened, then I heard him sing this tune. You're a nice little coyote, you prowl around and howl around the moon all night. You're a sharp little fella, you beller out and yell about until the light. And you always sound so lonesome It makes me a little bit blue But I ain't got time for prowling Or I do a little howling Ooh, Go away, little critter You helping ain't a helping me to hit the sack Get along, little varmint I'll pick me up a stick and up and whack your back If you don't cut out that yapping how can I get any napping done? So go easy on the screaming while I do a little dreaming about my only one. Let me dream about my only one. All right, break it up, you guys. You too, Trigger. Oh, I was winning. Oh, no wonder you're winning, Trigger standing there telling you what to play. <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on here? Come out from what under there. Oh, 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 God, look at the jackpot. <laughs> Friend of your fellas? No, 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 no. I have no relative of mine either. Are you sure? Well, <laughs> what's your name, son? I'm Ted Conover, and this is Tramp. Well, hi, Ted. Oh. Hi, Tramp. I came here on a business deal. I'm sorry you caught me this way, Mr. Rogers. Business deal? Do you generally go around making business oh. deals in one boot? Oh, no. I just listened to the song when Tramp took it. He's always doing things like that. <laughs> What's the matter, son? Did you hurt yourself? No, not lately. A horse kicked me two years ago. Doc Richards said I needed an operation. Light said my leg will have to get well by itself. Where do you live? Well, why right now I'm... I found a place I liked, got a job. <laughs> that sounds to me like a hint. Well, I thought Mr. Rogers might need an assistant. Somebody has to shine his guns. So that's the business deal. Well, I think maybe we could use another hand and his dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thanks, Tramp. That is, if he isn't running away from home. How about it, fellas? Why, <laughs> sure. Who is this Lige fellow you spoke about? Well, he's my stepfather. He works for Mr. Jordan down Saddleback catching wild horses, but he won't mind. Well, I'll phone down and see what I can find out. In the meantime, how about some chow, Carolyn? Okay. Ted, you better come along with me. You could stand a little... Well, you know what they say about cleanliness. Gee, thanks, Mr. Rogers. Well, now that you're working for me, just call me Roy. You call me Ted. That's a deal. <laughs> come on, Tramp. Maybe we can even find a bone for Tramp. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello? Hey, Light. Well, <laughs> Roy, it's like old times hearing your voice again. Rogers. Who? Ted. <laughs> well, now ain't that just like a kid? His step pops Lodge McFarland works for me. Yeah. No, he ain't right now. I'll sure tell him when he comes in. <laughs> well, thanks for calling. Goodbye. That kid of yours up to Rogers Ranch, asking for a job. Well, that's the last time you'll pull that trick. I'll go up and get him and give him a tanner he'll never forget. Just a minute, Lige. You ain't tanning nobody. We want him to get that job. Whether you know it or not, the boy's just done us a big favor. Yeah. Maybe he can help us on that Palomino horse trading deal we're thinking about. That's right. <laughs> Carolyn, Hi. gonna stick around for the big horse race? Who do you think will win? The world's fastest dog or the world's fastest horse? You better bet on my side, Carolyn. Tram told me he was ready. Didn't you, Tram? <coughs> you can be the official starter, Cousin Cookie. Sure. Cousin. Oh, now, wait a minute, Roy. You can tell by looking at him, he's not one of us. We were bigger than that when we were born. Now, get in there and start <laughs> the race. Go on, go on, Roy. Get on your marks. Get set. Go. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, Tramp. Come on. Come on, Trigger. Think of your reputation. Come on, Trigger. Come on. Come on. Run. Come on, boy. Better hurry up. This is the home stretch. That a boy, Trigger. See, I told you so. Well, Trigger won, but it was fair and square. But I'm not mad at you. Come on, Tramp. Come on, Tramp. <laughs> Tramp, that was a good try. <laughs> Roy? Mm-hmm? You know why Trigger won? Why? Because you can holler, come on, louder than I can. <laughs> Trigger's legs are a little bit longer, too. How about taking a long ride on the winter? Hi, Pop. Roy, boy, how be you? Glad to see you back. Good to see you, too, Pop. <laughs> Hiya, Ted. Is everything okay? Well, sure, Lodge. I'm fine. Roy's giving me a job on the ranch. This is, uh, Lodge McFarland, the boy's step-pop. Hi, how are you? That's mighty nice of you, Mr. Rogers. I'm pretty busy, and Ted and I have been batching them. Sometimes he gets a little on line, but if he wouldn't be in your way... Always room for one more. You mean I can stay? You're not mad at me for... Run away? No, no. There won't be any more running away, will they, Ted? I'll see that he scrubs behind his ears. <laughs> you know, that's mighty handsome of you, Miss Carolyn. The woman's influence will probably do the boy a lot of good. So this is the famous trigger. Roy, I won't apologize for that cowpoke of mine slugging that horse. I fired him as soon as I found out about it. Tram! Yeah, you see the mumble? Come back here, Rob! Hey, Pop! Please, I'll get him! You Mr. better... Ted. Take it easy, Pop. <laughs> Why, he's just a puppy. Let him have his fun. Be a good boy, Ted. Do what Mr. Rogers tells you. There's your stuff. By the way, you know you're both invited to Roy's anniversary broadcast tonight, don't you? <laughs> we'll be there sure, Miss Caroline. Or bust a cinch. Ten years, huh? Boy, we'll put on a wing ding. Did 
it's so pretty, I kind of hate to cut it. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. This beautiful anniversary cake here on the table in front of us is too beautiful to cut. But we've got to get on with the proceedings here. So while the guests in the ranch living room are being served this anniversary cake, we're going to call upon Roy to give us one of the songs that helped make him King of the Cowboys. Ladies and gentlemen, Roy Rogers. Dust, dust in the skies, dust on the trail, dust in my eyes. Dust, dust, can't see the sun, can't find my way. The dust has won, the cattle and the sheep, better down to sleep, seem to realize their fate. The vultures in the sky know the time is nigh. Will they fly away or away? Oh, Lord, please ease my pain. Oh, Lord, where is your rain? And sunshine, dust, dust, must it be, can this be eternity, oh Lord, have mercy on for me. take a liking to you. Thanks, Roy. We return you now to our main studios. <laughs> there he is. That's a pretty good-sized piece of cake you got there. Yeah, you ought to get yourself some. Yeah, we will. Say, where'd you get that fancy shirt? Oh, it's Roy's. He loaned it to me for the party. But he says I'll grow into it. <laughs> <laughs> Say, that looks fit to eat. Let's grab us a hunk. I bet you triggered like some. Let's go see.
something to happen to Trigger and your friend Rogers, you're going to keep your little mouth shut. Get that? Yes, sir. You just came down here and Trigger was gone. That's all. You never saw anybody, remember? No, sir. I didn't. That's a smart boy. If you ever crack one word, I'll shoot your head off. Don't forget that. And that goes for your friend Rogers and Trigger. Don't try and holler for help, because I'll be right outside the door. Trev, you're not dead. Did you hear what he said about Roy and Trigger? I don't dare tell on him. search for Trigger is being continued by plane, automobile, and horse, and the sheriff has announced that no stone will be left unturned in the hunt. Although it is feared that Trigger has been stolen and may be held for ransom, no contact has yet been made with the abductors. They'll be contacted soon enough to let them stew in their own juice for a while. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all for a green hand, as the feller says that ought to do it. We got Trigger. You can have him back for $100,000. A dead horse is no good to you or me. Have money in small bills. Instructions will follow. Act fast and don't fool around. Sounds like Ed wrote it. Sure, that's the way we want to sound. Might as well bring him in. There's no use in watching any longer. I guess we're safe now. boys just pulled out? Yeah, that was Joe. And he took plenty of grub to the cabin for the boys so they can stay there for a long time without showing themselves. Trigger okay? Yeah. That's good. We don't want nobody coming or going from there any more than we can help. Somebody's apt to spot us. Here, mail this letter for me. A hundred thousand dollars? I think that's too much. Why don't we ask for ten and get it? 
That ain't good horse trading. Why well, ask for a little when you can get a lot? And you ain't getting your cut for thinking. All right. I called the studio today, and they've arranged to have the $100,000 here the first thing in the morning. You know, I've got a hunch of somebody that knows us pretty well. It was such a smooth job, they must have been watching us all the time. If we had just one clue, if Ted had gotten there a second sooner, he could have had a good look at them. Yeah. How was the kid? Not so good. He had quite a scare. He wouldn't go to bed till I told him what was in the ransom note. Then the part about Trigger really upset him. Maybe I better go have a talk with him. How about a lullaby cookie? Sure. What's the matter, Ted? Can't sleep? No, Roy. I understand. I'm having the same trouble. How are you doing, Tramp? Hmm? Good boy. Here, let me give you a hand. Ted, are you sure you told me everything you saw at the barn that night? Uh-huh. Everything. What's the matter? Splitter. I can fix that. You know, Ted, anything you can remember might give me a clue. You want to get Trigger back, don't you? Oh, yes, more than anything. Hurting you? Ted, there's boys all over the world who would like to help me right now. But you're the only one who can. If you know anything, anything at all, don't be afraid to tell me. I will. I want to tell the truth. Sure you do. If everybody would tell the truth, this would be a much better world to live in. You try to go to sleep. Sure, Roy. Don't worry about a thing. They're not worrying or they wouldn't be singing.
back with him. He needs you. Thanks for the help, fellas. Did the trick. <laughs> Made me sleepy, too. Think I'll turn in and save my strength for tomorrow. Yeah, me too. Don't anybody move. Nobody's gonna get hurt. I just want to talk to you. What about? I know where Trigger is. Trigger? And it won't cost you $100,000 to find out. Ten thousand's my price. How can you prove it? I thought you'd ask that. Take a look at this. Doesn't necessarily prove anything. A lot of horses have white manes and tails. Where is he? First, the ten thousand. Okay, you'll get it. But first. <laughs> They shot him. Because he was double crossing him. Double crossing who? I wish I knew. We haven't got a chance at. Morning, Sheriff. Morning, John. You're right on time. You've been sitting here all night? No, I trust the bars on the window and the burglar alarm. Well, I guess that hundred thousand in the vault would buy the place. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Ted, I'll be in the bank for a while. Go over and get yourself an ice cream cone. Thanks, Roy. Come on, Tramp. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Nice tramp, nice tramp. Hi, Pop. Howdy, son. Where's Roy? Oh, hi, Raj. He just went in the bank. Somebody shot Ed last night up at the ranch. Well, you don't say. Yeah. He was just about to tell us where Trigger was, and they shot him in the back. You supposed to have hurt Trigger? Oh, as long as they get the money, I think the horse will be safe. If they don't, it'll probably be the end of them. Well... Roy's in the bank now, getting $100,000. Well, in that case, Ted, you ain't got anything to worry about. Sit on Pappy's knee and I'll tell you all about it. You see, it's like this. Roy goes into the bank, he gets the $100,000, he gives it to these folks, and Trigger's okay. Sure. That's all they gotta do is give the money to the people that did this. Are they treating you all right up there, Ted? Sure, Lodge. Well, that's good. If they don't, you just let me know. Come on, Tramp! Beautiful, beautiful. Hi, Sheriff. Hello, Roy. I guess you can see I got the money. Yeah, the studio shipped it in last night by special messenger. My duty to check up on things like that. Going someplace? Mm-hmm. Taxpayers think it's a good idea if I went along for protection. <laughs> well, I'm a taxpayer, and I think it's a pretty good idea, too. Let's go. Is Pop Jordan selling ice cream cones now? No, Roy. I wasn't hungry. So I went over to say hello to Pop and Lodge. Oh? Well, come on, get in. This evening, say, but ain't the moon is shining bright. Birds are stop their flutter, and no one a word is uttered under California stars. Hi, Carolyn. See, I'm sure missing my big opportunity. I was going to sell Roy a song for his next picture, but. Trigger's got me so upset that boots and saddles just sound like a lot of work. Sounded kind of pretty to me. 
Hey, here's something that came in the mail that looks plenty interesting. It looks just like the other one. Yeah. Hi. Hey, Roy. Roy, this just came. I think it's from the same fellas. Well, open it. What's it say? Trigger safe. Follow instructions carefully. Be at Twin Rocks tomorrow at sunup with money. Put in saddlebags, turn horse loose. If you follow, you will be shot, and so will Trigger. Well, at least Trigger's safe. And we know what to do. Yes, if you can believe them. I'll sure be glad to see that horse again. You see, Ted, by tomorrow we'll have Trigger back. I think the money will be safe here till tomorrow, Sheriff. If anything goes wrong, I'll give you a buzz. If I were you, Roy, I wouldn't bother. Because we're going to forget about this ransom note and not pay the money. No, wait a minute, Sheriff. Trigger means more to me than any amount of money. I'm sorry, Roy, but there's more to this than just getting Trigger back. A man's been murdered, and there may be more. That money stays right where it is. There's still law and order in this county, and the apprehension of murderers and blackmailers come first. Can't you see if we let this bunch of outlaws get away with this? It will only serve to encourage them and others to pull the same trick again. No one will be safe. But these men are dangerous. They'll kill Trigger if they don't get their money. Yeah, but the money's a... Shh. Naturally, I'm going to do all I can to prevent that. And I'll need help from all of you. I think you can count on us. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Sheriff. I guess I just didn't realize. You know how much Trigger means to me. But if that's the way you want it, that's the way it's got to be. What's your plan? That's the spirit. Round up your boys and have them meet me here tonight. Now, here's the plan I have in mind. By daylight tomorrow morning, we'll all be staked out in a big circle around Twin Rocks. When Roy turns the horse loose with the fake money, one of us will be able to keep her eye on him at all times without following him and jeopardizing Trigger. Give the horse a good start and follow him at a safe distance. If anything happens, fire a shot and we'll all come running. Understood? Good. Mm -hmm. All right, saddle up. Roy, don't forget your little package. I won't. Hey, Pat, saddle up for me, will you? Shadows come and go while the western breezes blow under California stars. From far across the valley comes the low cowboy song he's waiting for the daybreak when he'll up and move along hi Roy say that package of fake money you asked me to make up is in the drawer you got time to try a chorus why not But ain't it peaceful out tonight? Say, but ain't the moon a shining bright? Robin's in his nest and the countryside's at rest under California stars. Well, just hear the crickets chiming on.
Hey, that's all right. Did you really like the song, Roy? Song? Oh, sure, sure. Did you like it enough to use it in your next picture? No, it wasn't bad. Oh, gee, then you'll use it. Oh, that's swell. Well, wait a minute. Who wrote it? A relative. A cousin of mine by the name of Bullfincher. Cookie Bullfincher. I enjoyed that, Roy. Gee, it was beautiful. You think so, huh? Oh, yeah. You're fired. Oh, Roy, you can't fire me. My cousins won't let you. And besides, what for? For writing songs on ranch time. You little tattletale, I'll get you. Roy, honest, I did it on spare time, so help me, I did. From now on, you'll have a lot of spare time. Oh. In Hollywood, writing songs for me. <laughs> oh, 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 Cookie! Cookie, come too, you're gonna be famous! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hollywood, swimming pool, lights, and girls. Yeah. We better get started. Oh, yeah, get the daylight. Get a lot packed up. Oh, my hat, my hat, my hat.
Light should have been here a long time ago. We'd better get Trigger inside. I guess we had. Hey, fellas, get us a hand. Bring some ropes and the whip. Rogers was smarter than that, knowing we still got Trigger. But we won't have long, because now they force us to get rid of him. Hey, hey, what's going on here? Don't do that. Where's the... like they let you down. Lige, I guess you was right. Better do your stuff. All right, boys, get your shovels. We've got to bury the evidence. <laughs> oh, Ted, you crippled little... How did you get in here? Nobody's with me, Lige. I'm alone. But how did you know where we were? I figured when Ed was killed that you had something to do with Trigger. So I followed Pop here. A ransom money. A real McCoy. Where'd you get it, kid? I took it from Roy's desk. I knew you wanted it. Well, I'll be dad burned if you ain't the smartest youngin' in the whole wide west. Ted, I knew old I'd just training it show up on you sooner or later. From now on, we're working together. Isn't that right, boys? You betcha. And this money's gonna give us a good start. What about Trigger? Stay away from him, Ted. He's a killer. He won't hurt me, Lige. Will you, Trigger? I missed you a lot. All right, boys, pack up. We're pulling out of here. Well, how did it go? It didn't. I'm sorry, Roy, but they'll contact us again. They want that money. Well, at least we still have the money to give them. I sure hate to tell Ted. hiding your loot. Crap, you're a regular thief. Ted's handkerchief. Somebody's boot. Pop's glove. I wonder what this is. Looks like something's been cut out of here. The ransom note.
believe it. Do you, Roy? It was Pop and Lige who stole Trigger and killed Ed, all right. Trent must have taken this from Pop's office the day Ted went to visit him. That was the day I picked up the money at the bank. So now they have Trigger and the $100,000. Well, the kid's gone. There's no doubt about that. But why did he leave Tramp? I don't know. They were pretty smart, sending the boy here to spy on you. And then when he saw how things were going, skip out with the money. seems to think you're wrong, Sheriff. What are we going to do now? Wait for another contact. That's all we can do. We're not waiting for anything, Sheriff. Tramp, come here. Tramp, you never left Ted for anything unless you went to steal something. Now go find him for me, will you? Go find him. some money, why worry about Trigger? We'll just leave him here and they'll find him. We're taking the North Trail. You said as soon as you got the money that Roy could have Trigger back. <laughs> that was yesterday. A lot of things have happened around here since then. Hey, how about me? I can't move. Don't worry, Glenn. We'll fix up something to take you down to the doctors. Fix up a letter for him, boys. Okay, Pop. All right, Ted. Fellers, get them horses out of the brush. But never mind the stretcher for Glenn. He won't be needing one. <laughs> All right, keep her going. Why, well, you're getting to be a regular young stallion. Let What's me the matter go, with let you? Let me go. Go. Oh, you bring him, Lige. Where do you think you're going? Lige, you said you didn't trigger. Why, of course not. You mean you didn't? Why, of course not. Gee, thanks. But you can't leave Trigger in there and starve. Don't worry, he won't starve, son. It's smoke. You're slowing things up. Come on, let's hide it. <laughs>
okay, Ted? Trigger. Trigger. Trigger's all right. Thanks for taking me, Roy, but you shouldn't have done it. I was a bad boy. I took the money so I could get Trigger back. Honest, I did. I know, Ted. They're both popping lines. Rounded most of them up. Pop and Lige are still missing. They took the North Trail. I heard him say so. Take care of him, Cookie. He's been a brave boy. Oh, boy. I'm sure glad to see you, Trigger. We've got to hurry. We've got a date on the North Trail. <laughs> Stopping me like this. You going plumb loco? We better get out of here. No, oh, I ain't going plumb loco. You wouldn't be trying to run out on me, would you, Pop? I know. I give you the signal. I knew you were following me all the time. Let's split the money up and take different trails out of here. Too bad a kid like Ted had to get himself mixed up with a no-good guy like you. Just... Just a minute, young fella. Pop! Attaboy, Pop. Now, Pop, let him have it. Sure, I'll let him have it. I'll let him have everything. You know, Roy, trading horses all my life has 
has learned me to drive a hard bargain. Don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you, Pop. I just... Is moving round. No, you will 